Hi everyone, this is Ram Krishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss AP Set 2018 Linear Algebra question number 18 from paper 2. And the question is, if T is a mapping from R square of R to R cube of R, is the linear transformation defined by T of x comma y is equal to x plus 2y comma 2x minus y comma 3x plus y for x comma y belongs to R square. Then the matrix of T relative to the ordered basis, first one is B is equals to set uh, 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 and b dash is equal to set 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 for r square and r cube respectively is dash and the four options are option number 1 1 minus 3 0 0 5 0 option number 2 matrix 1 0 3 5 0 0 option number 3 1 matrix 1 3 0 0 minus 5 0 and option number 4 matrix uh, 1 0 3 minus 5 0 0 so we have to choose one correct option from these uh, four and here the question is about the matrix representation of a linear transformation with respect to the given ordered basis so for this first we have to recall the concept of matrix of a linear transformation that is matrix representation of a linear transformation with respect to given standard ordered basis so first we recall the the uh, concept of matrix of a linear transformation okay so here we have uh, matrix of linear transformation so concept is let u of f and v of f be two vector spaces such that dimension u is equal to n and dimension v is equal to m so here both are finite dimensional vector space and let t is a mapping from u to v be a, a linear transformation and let b1 is equals to set alpha 1 alpha 2 so on alpha n be the ordered basis of u so here u is a finite dimension vector space whose dimension is n so basis at consisting n number of basis elements and similarly v is a finite dimension vector space whose dimension is m so corresponding basis at b2 is equal to beta 1 beta 2 so on beta m with the ordered basis of v consisting m number of basis element now for any alpha belongs to v t of alpha belongs to v because t is a mapping from u to v be a linear transformation so for every element alpha belongs to v the image of alpha under t is belonging to v that means that is a vector in v and here we know that uh, v is a vector space and it dimension is m and it has a basis beta 1 beta 2 so on beta m so that every element in v can be expressed as a linear combination of basis element beta 1 beta 2 so on beta m and here t of alpha belongs to v and t of alpha can be expressed as a linear combination of elements of the basis set b Two. So let there exist uh, scalars Aijs belongs to field capital F such that T of alpha 1 is equal to linear combinations of beta 1, beta 2, so on, beta m. Say that is A11 beta 1 plus A21 beta 2 plus so on plus AM1 beta m. And similarly, T of alpha 2 is equal to A12 beta 1 plus A22 beta 2 plus so on plus AM2 beta m and so on. T of alpha j is equal to a 1j beta 1 plus a 2j beta 2 plus so on plus a mj beta m and so on and last factor t of alpha is alpha n is equal to a 1n beta 1 plus a 2n beta 2 plus so on plus a m n beta m so these are the representations for the vectors in capital V okay now writing the coordinates of uh, t of alpha 1 t of alpha 2 and so on t of alpha j and so on t of alpha 1 successively as columns of a matrix that means the coordinate means a11 a21 and so on a m1 so writing these coefficients as a column vector matrix so we have a11 a21 and so on a i1 and so on a m1 so writing these coefficients as uh, columns of a matrix we get uh, a12 that is a12 a22 and so on am2 that is second column and so on i uh, sorry here j column is a1 j a2 j and so on a i j and so on a m j and last one is a1 n a2 n and so on a m n so this is a matrix of order m by n so this matrix representation as uh, represented as matrix aij of order m by n and is called the matrix of the linear transformation t with respect to basis uh, b b1 and b2 and symbolically it is denoted by bracket uh, t with respect to beta b1 and b2 or simply bracket t is equal to matrix aij of order m by n so this is the concept about the matrix representation of a linear transformation with respect to standard ordered basis so using this concept uh, we will 
solve the given question okay coming to the solution here since t is a mapping from r square to r cube is a linear transformation given by t of x comma y is equal to x plus 2y comma 2x minus y comma 3x plus y and this is true for all pairs x comma y belongs to r square okay now for every pair x comma y belongs to r square implies the image of the pair under t that is t of x comma y belongs to r cube okay and t of x comma y can be because here t of x comma y is an element in r cube and r cube has a standard basis b dash is equals to 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 so that means every element of r cube can be written as a linear combination of this set of uh, basis elements so t of x comma y can be expressed as uh, it can be expressed as a linear combination of elements of basis b dash okay and since b1 is equals to here b1 is equal to set 1 1 and 1 comma 2 is a basis for is a basis for capital r square so that implies t of 1 1 is equals to t of 1 1 means substituting x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 in the given definement we get the vector as 3 comma 1 comma 4 substituting x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 so x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 means first coordinate is 1 plus 2 that is 3 and here 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 and here 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 so t of 1 comma 1 is equal to 3 comma 1 comma 4 and here 3 or 3 comma 1 comma 4 is a vector in r cube and that vector can be written as a linear combination of elements of basis uh, b dash so that means 3 comma 1 comma 4 is a linear combination of elements of basis b dash and similarly similarly t of 1 comma 2 by substituting x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 we get the vector as 5 comma 0 comma 5 substituting x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 so that is 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5 here x is equal to 1 means 2 minus 2 that is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 means uh, sorry 1 means 3 plus uh, 2 which is equal to 5 again this is a vector in r cube so it is also is linear combination of elements of basis b dash okay so this is uh, vectors 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 is the basis for r square and here t is a mapping from r square to r cube so that the images of the elements of r square under t are in r cube so we have 1 3 comma 1 comma 4 and 5 comma 0 comma 5 are elements in r cube that means vectors in r cube so those two vectors can be written as a linear combination of basis b dash okay now let arbitrary element a comma b comma c is equal to p into 0 1 1 plus q into 1 0 1 plus r into 1 1 0 so here 
ऑर्बिटरी वी आर टेकिंग एन एलिमेंट इन आर क्यूब एंड दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एस ए लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बेसिस एलिमेंट्स बी डैश वोज एलिमेंट्स आर जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन 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 जीरो सो दैट इज पी इन टू जीरो वन वन प्लस क्यू इन टू वन जीरो वन प्लस आर इन टू वन वन जीरो सो हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ पी क्यू एंड आर ओके सो दिस इम्प्लाइज ए कामा बी कामा सी इज इक्वल्स टू दिस इज इक्वल टू Q plus R, comma P plus R, comma P plus Q. So from this equating the coordinates, we get uh, this is P. Sorry, Q plus R is equal to A, and P plus R is equal to B, and P plus uh, Q is equal to C. So adding these three, we get uh, P plus Q plus R is equal to This is uh, two times. So two times p plus q plus r is equal to this is a plus b plus c by two. Okay. So from this we get p is equal to a plus b plus c by two minus of q plus r. Your q plus r is nothing but y. So p value is equal to a plus b plus c by two minus y, and here this can be written as by taking two as LCM we get a plus b plus c minus two y by two. So that is nothing but b plus c minus y because y minus two y which gives minus y. So we can write b plus c minus y by two. So that is the value of p. Similarly, we get Q is equal to a plus b plus c by two minus b. This is equals to a plus c minus b by two, and R is equal to a plus b plus c by two minus c, which is equals to A plus B minus C by two. So these are values of P, Q, and R. So therefore, P of one comma one is equal to we got three comma one comma four, and this can be written as P into zero one one plus Q into one zero one plus R into one one zero. And here, substituting p value as uh, we get uh, p is equal to one because uh, we got p is equal to b plus c minus y. So here, this is y value, this is b value, and this is c value. We got uh, p is equal to y plus sorry, p is equal to b plus c minus y, b plus c minus y. That is b plus c means one plus four five minus three, which is equals to two by two. That is equals to one. So one into zero one one plus q value is q means here a plus c minus b by two. So a plus c means three plus four seven. Minus one six six by two, which is equal to three into one zero one plus R value is equal to a plus b minus c by two. So a plus c means that is seven minus sorry a plus b means three plus one four minus four that is zero. So this is zero into one comma one comma zero. So this is. For the vector t of one comma one, and similarly we get t of one comma two is equal to five comma zero comma five. For this we get p into zero comma one comma one plus q into one comma zero comma one plus r into one comma one comma zero. And here this is a, this is b, and this is c. So substituting these values in p, q, r, we get this is zero into Zero one one plus five into one zero one plus zero into one one zero. So y is equal to five b is equal to zero and 
c is equal to 5 because p is equal to we have b plus c minus a by 2 so b plus c means 0 plus 5 5 minus a means 5 so 5 minus 5 0 so p value is equal to 0 and similarly q value is a plus c minus b by 2 a plus c means 5 plus 5 10 minus 0 by 2 means 5 so 5 into 101 1. and last r value is a plus b minus c by 2 a plus c minus c means 5 plus 0 5 minus 5 0 by 2 so z value is equal to 0 now the matrix relative to basis b comma b dash is equals to by writing the coefficients as columns that is 1 3 0 and second one is 0 5 0 so this is the required matrix representation of capital T with respect to given basis B and B dash okay hence option number 2 is correct is it clear? I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.